So, speed shred picking. Let's commence picking Doom, shall we? Um, the first thing to realise with speed picking is that you achieve the speed not through being fast. You achieve the speed through being economical with your movement. Um, being fast helps, but <clears throat> it isn't the quickest way of becoming fast on the guitar. Now that may not seem to make sense to begin with, but you'll soon understand that it's, it's exactly the way it is. Um, there's a theory in tennis called centre point, which Ingo Malmsteen uses to help his picking style system. It's very interesting. Basically, you hit the ball. I don't play tennis, by the way. Hit the ball, and then you return to the centre of the court, so you're prepared for the ball to come either side. And it's just a theory, um, but you can apply it in almost everything you do on the guitar. So. Nothing should be a waste of movement. If you move either side of that centre of the court, you're wasting movement because you might have to go the other way. So you keep all your movements to the smallest possible size. If you're picking a string, there's no need to pass that string any further than half a mil because you'd have picked it. Any further is just a waste of your life. <laughs> so these ways of thinking will make you faster. The other thing, is that if you're tense and you have to relax before you can move so it's a good idea to be relaxed all the time and in fact if you look at all the best guitar players they are all super relaxed all the time even if they look like they're not really they are very relaxed you can't play you can't let a muscle move freely and, and flow if it's under tension it doesn't work so Relaxing and economy of movement are the keys to playing fast, precise, flowing, shred, evil, terror, death lick guitar. So the best way to learn technique is to isolate it in its purest form and study it from therein. So let's take a look at the pick, picking a string, close up. So <clears throat> here's my pick. Now I'm holding it very softly. In fact, I'm holding it so soft that when I pick the string, you can probably see the pick twitches between my fingers. Now you need to have a soft grip on the pick to allow it to flow over the strings in a natural way. If you grip it hard, what happens is it bounces, it bounces over the strings and causes an unnatural sort of bouncy movement, which is unrequired. So a soft grip is absolutely essential. If you want to be really fast, I completely recommend using really, really thick plectrums. I'm using 2mm Brit picks here. 2mm um, for me is the perfect gauge. The reason is you can't bend a 2mm pick. It doesn't work. Um, and through not being able to bend it forces you to be soft. So it's almost a handicap that helps you out. So anyway, let's take a look at some picking. <laughs> thing to mention is that the movement starts in the pick. There are three places that move the pick. The first place is the finger and thumb, like this. That movement alone is sufficient to cause the string to be picked. I'm not even moving my wrist, which is the second point of movement. If I want to open it up a bit further, I can use the wrist. And furthest of all is the elbow joint. I can use that to really move the whole arm. Now, the less of this three-point area you use, the smaller the pick will be, and the smaller the faster. So if you want really quick picking, I would use a combination of finger and thumb and the wrist. it's lightning fast. So finger and thumb and then if you need to open up to the wrist and if you absolutely have to open it up to the elbow joint but if you use a lot of elbow joint it hurts. 